So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. Two problematic people in one video. Gabby Hanna, who has been hunted by the internet for the last three years for her questionable behaviour. And our very own queen of controversy, Trisha Paytas. Now, here we were all thinking that Trishy Fisher had redeemed herself through the Frenemies podcast. Yeah, well, she's left that now. And she's posted seven videos on history, history. <gasps> What? What? Sorry if my hair looks wet, by the way. I've just been in the shower. I'm as clean as they come. But it does seem, ladies and gentlemen, that Trisha Pierce has reverted back to her old ways. Slashing out with full ferocity with the intent to destroy an individual's career. So yes, you guessed it. Today we shall be talking about Gabby Hanna versus Trisha Pierce versus Ethan Klein. Oh yeah, triple threat. So let's kick us off with an allegation that was released by Gabby Hanna last night. Trisha drove her car into her ex-boyfriend's house. This isn't a joke or a troll. She is highly dangerous, highly delusional person who set her sights on me a long time ago. Her obsessive infatuation turned to obsessive hatred when I didn't pay enough attention to her. Obsessive hatred. <gasps> this is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. But very big allegation coming from the one and only and very reliable Gabby Hanna. Let's get one thing straight before jumping into this video. I'm not fond of either of them. I think they've both done their own version of really fuckable Questionable behaviour. Fuckable. There is no such behaviour as fuckable. What? But enough of that, you know, let's move on into the first segment of today's video. So around four months ago, Gabby Hanna released a podcast with Trisha Paytas, and according to Trisha, Gabby had edited the podcast in her favour to make Trisha look bad. However, in the last few days, Gabby Hanna has released the podcast footage that she had removed originally. So what do we think? Did the Gabatron 9000 actually make Trisha Fishy look bad? Has Trisha evolved since the toilet roll bum all days? Well, let's see what Gabby Hanna thinks. For almost two years, Trisha has been dedicated to telling the world we never met. We were never friends, and that she never watched any of my videos. She successfully convinced millions that I'm a delusional, dangerous, obsessed stalker who imagined a years-long friendship with her. Well, I guess me and Trisha do have something in common. I've successfully convinced millions around the world for the last two years that I'm actually happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Of course I'm happy. I got a big cock. What's there to be sad about? It's amazing how much the world can actually change when you consider three inches as big. But ladies and gentlemen, it's amazing how Gabby and Trisha both had different visions of their friendship. Gabby believed they were friends due to the way Trisha was treating her behind closed doors. But then, of course, leading to Trisha publicly saying, Well, me and you were never friends. She did this to make Gabby look crazy, of course. Uh, sorry. Didn't realise I was still in high school. But Trisha, you were never friends with Gabby. Is that correct? So I presume the person in this next voice message, uh, isn't you. You were the only one, and Ricky are the only two that I actually, like, talk and have, like, a relationship with. So I thought I would just, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just feel like when I'm at parties and I have, like, a relationship with somebody, like, a previous step, was like, you know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, we're like, you know, like, friends. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you know, like, we're the party and, like, you know. What? So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Trisha Peters would actually call Gabby Hanna one of her closest friends. Even though Trisha said the complete opposite. It seems like Trisha is embarrassed by Gabby. <laughs> well, this world's changed. But just before we move on to the frenemies drama, there was one more little situation I want to talk about. Can you be patient for me? Thanks. And for this next segment, I would like to take us to the legendary, the one and only, massive ball sacked man, Dr. Don Valentine. Right, I know you're all thinking, where's Dr. Don Valentine? Well, he's died. Uh, unfortunately, he uh, got run over by a forklift truck. His head exploded. Wasn't a... <laughs> so for real, I've been moving house and I've left the outfits the other side of the world. But anyway, let's move on to this segment. We're going to discuss how Trisha Paytas has Gabby Hanna on strings. So when Trisha and Gabby were actually friends, Gabby Hanna actually messaged Trisha for permission to send her a poetry book. You know, for a friend's opinion, you know who it is. Honestly, I'd rather read the fucking eye chart for 32 hours. <laughs> <laughs> However, in Trisha's next vlog, she done the unthinkable. The one thing that is most feared. <laughs> she indirected Gabby Hanna in a YouTube video. <laughs> Joey sent me this awesome package. I don't like when people ask me for my address, like I never give people my address. Well, obviously he knows mine because obviously he's been here, but like other YouTubers, if I'm not close with her, I'm not your friend, like, <laughs> I'm not about to like give you just, you know, what's your address, I can send you a fucking book so you can promote me, no. I try a sex swing for the first time. <laughs> yeah, uh, that statement definitely wasn't about Gabby. Oh shit. So Gabby asked permission to send her book to you, you ignore her, then a month later go on vlog and claim you don't want anyone to send their shitty books to you who aren't friends. Yeah, Trisha, you fooled us. The indirection definitely wasn't about Gabby Hannah. 
But as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, Trisha continues to make Gabby Hanna look crazy, as you can see in these texts. Literally, not about you. Who then, Trisha? Who were you talking about? And you also claim not to care that much about followers. Yeah, <laughs> you fooled me, Trisha. I would never have thought you cared about gaining. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, that really does leave the question. Who's the real good guy in all of this? What are you fucking doing, man? What are you doing? Get out of my house! Get out! Get out! So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fun, exciting roller coaster, which is Trisha Paytas. To be honest, I almost didn't get on. But apparently, this beef about Trisha quitting frenemies has gotten so bad that everyone has been messaging Trisha's partner to unplug the router, who is also Ethan's wife, Ela's brother. And in this world with all the problems, ladies and gentlemen, this TikTok upset people. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't just public drama, it's public family drama. Which is never a good thing. Calling you out, Dad. This was for never taking me to my best friend Jason's house. But what is actually going on with Trisha and the frenemies? Well, let's talk about the 5%. So Ethan actually lowered Trisha's cut from frenemies by 5%, which would make it 55-45. And this was due to Ethan being able to cover production costs. Oh no. I'm making 10 grand a month instead of 11. <sighs> How will I afford Tuesday's mukbangs now? Well, seriously, Trisha was actually okay with this. They spoke about it on DMs and Trisha was completely fine with it, so there's no problem there. But then, ladies and gentlemen, the Disneyland trip came along. Trisha and her family went on a VIP trip to Disneyland, where they invited Ethan and Ela to come along. And according to Trisha's sister, they didn't pay for their own ticket, which the 5% could have covered. Ethan incidentally invited himself to our family surprise. Um, we paid for him. Ethan and Ela did not pay for their VIP ticket to Disneyland. We ended up paying for Ethan and Ela, which is crazy because he takes that 5% and VIP tickets to Disneyland is not cheap. Mm. Fucking stinger that was, huh? Going in a guns blazing, come on! But okay, that is very interesting and that is extremely selfish of them. However, I wonder how Ethan, H3H3, Responded. What is wrong with these people? I swear to God. Okay, I begged Moses, begged him to let us pay. According to the Trisha's family, this 5% that I was taking for production fees could cover the uh, national debt at this point. What can't the 5% cover? I'm supposed to be paying for Disney. I begged them to let us pay. Please, you guys, stop. This is so unnecessary. Well... <laughs> This is awkward. Yeah, don't worry, I can literally tell you, Trisha's sister, because you just insert yourself into everything. Just like that time, ladies and gentlemen, where Anthony Padilla's video blew up from interviewing Dissocia DID. Also, according to Trisha's sister as well, apparently they invited themselves to Disneyland. As if, like, you're not welcome. This is a family trip only. Oh shit, yeah. They're a part of your family now. Trisha Paytas is literally fucking engaged to Ela's brother. But believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, turns out Trisha was the one that invited them. And also, she was also the one who said, don't worry about the money, uh, I want us to go as a family, so I'll pay for you. Aww. Yeah, but I'm just gonna make up some bullshit, you know. Like, they invited themselves. <laughs> you know, just for the shits and giggles. But seriously, everyone right now is making a massive deal of the 5%. They're making it seem as if H3's 5% could literally fucking buy Microsoft. But honestly, the 5% goes to the crew for the production, you know. More money for them because they work hard to produce the podcast. Eh? Uh. However, Ethan did actually confirm on Twitter that Trisha will not be returning to Frenemies, uh, which I'm not surprised. Uh, what does she expect? Someone asked her on Twitter to like, go back to Frenemies and she was like, Oh yeah, I will next Tuesday. <laughs> you won't be. But alright. But honestly, uh, who is the good guy and who's the bad guy? Everyone on Twitter is telling Trisha Peters to apologise to Ethan and she claimed that she had nothing to apologise for. Shut up! Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking, it's not my dog. My dog is uh, sleeping right there. She's a good girl, what can I say? So my girlfriend was saying to me last night. So I said to my girlfriend last night. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the channel membership today. You get one video one day early before everyone else. And uh, I love you forever. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.